to now introduce Anne Murphy, President of Sutherland Shire Family Services, to give the President's report for this year. Thank you, Ashley. What a strange and challenging year this has been. This time last year, our board was finalising the selection of our new CEO, and our focus was on the exciting times ahead with fresh eyes in the organisation. No one could have predicted the global events that followed and the impact COVID-19 would have on all of our lives. We watched with dismay as the 2020 New Year's Eve bushfires raged through homes on the south coast. We saw the devastation to families, property and wildlife. In February, we were then shocked and saddened to hear of the murder of Hannah Clark and her children. In the days that followed the story of Hannah Clark, Australia became even more disturbed and outraged to hear of the control and coercion in the lead up, which ultimately ended with their tragic loss of lives. It highlighted the covert nature of domestic and family violence and emphasised just how much more work was needed across the country to support women, children and families living in that nightmare. It should have been a defining moment that would change how this country views and deals with family violence. But sadly, the news cycle is fickle and with an unfolding pandemic, the media moved on before the country really had time to act in response. Life as we know it became uncertain. What we did know is that our core business of supporting women, children, youth and families was needed more than ever. And so we set out to be a reassuring voice and calm present among our clients. With health fears, economic instability and employment rising, charities and not-for-profits were predicting thousands would struggle financially, practically and emotionally. With the rapid change and new COVID restrictions, the work at SSFS has never been more important. However, as with most industries, the manner in which programmes and services could be delivered had to change. Under the leadership of Ashley, the whole team working at SFS demonstrated their own resilience and worked to adapt the programmes and support model to continue to be the lifeline many of our clients depended on. New skills have been learnt, with many staff working from home without compromise to our service delivery. <clears throat> New platforms for service delivery to promote community and industry awareness around domestic violence were launched with our IT infrastructure needing to be upgraded as communications were seen as a vital factor in promoting teamwork in service delivery. Ashley's leadership has enabled SSFS to continue with staff and client safety at the forefront of all decisions. Sadly, this year, we made the difficult decision to close our Janaba Occasional Care Service due to many factors that made the programme no longer sustainable for the organisation. I'm sure many families in the community have had the benefit of the occasional care that Jan and her staff delivered over 30 years with many happy memories. We thank Jan for her dedication and service to the families of SSFS and Sutherland Shire and wish her well in her retirement. As a board, we have commenced work on our new strategic plan, which will set the foundation for how SSFS will serve the community in the coming three years. In uncertain times and an unpredictable future, we are focused on maintaining SSFS as a prepared and sustainable enterprise with a clear focus on our vision, mission and purpose to help support families facing trauma or disadvantage and give children the opportunity to have a safe home, strong connections and opportunities to thrive. I would like to thank all our wonderful do donors, supporters, sponsors, corporate and government, council and volunteers. While we appreciate that many of you have faced your own challenges in 2020, we thank you most sincerely for your continued support in whatever way you are able to manage. 
We always value the support you have all so generously given to SSFS and never take it for granted. While the world around us may be uncertain, we know at SSFS that we have an opportunity to use this time to solve problems together, stimulate debate and embrace change. We know that building stronger communities through supporting women, children, youth and families is in everyone's best interest. And together, we will come out of this tumultuous time stronger for it. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. I would now like to welcome Ben Wood, Treasurer for Sutherland Shire Family Services, to give the Treasurer's Report for the 2019 to 2020 financial year. Welcome, Ben. It's my pleasure to present the Treasurer's Report for 2020 for Sutherland Shire Family Services. Firstly, I'd like to thank Ashley for taking the reins as a new CEO in 2020. She's got up to speed very quickly with the programs and budgets and taken on many new challenges, not least of which was COVID. Um, Ashley's driven the transition of our accounting system uh, at the end of this year to a new accounting system at zero and a new accounting firm, um, external. This consolidation of our accounts will simplify and streamline our administration functions. And these changes will support um, the implementation of our new strategic plan. Uh, next of all, I'd like to thank staff, particularly Michelle, for taking on the interim CEO role while we, um, while we hired Ashley. I'd like to thank all staff for their tireless work and sticking to our tight budgets. Um, I'd like to express my gratitude to my fellow board members who volunteered their time to help steer our organisation. This was another big year, recruiting a CEO and dealing with COVID and many other issues. Uh, this year has shown that we are an effective team. Uh, I'd also like to express our appreciation to all our funding agencies, federal, state and local government, um, and the trust they instill in us to use their funds to maximise their return on investment. Uh, I'd also like to thank our donors and our volunteers for giving us their resources um, to make positive change in the community. I'd finally like to thank Cheryl Hasty and her team for the independent order of our consolidated accounts. Their commitment and support is appreciated. That's all from me. Thank you, I'm looking forward to 2021. Thank you, Ben.